they have collaborated with GD. GD. Hey guys, this is Poonam and I have a super duper exciting lip swatch video for you because I got hands on this. Yes, the Maybelline. Oops. The Maybelline GG Hadith collection. So I got all the lipsticks. Oops, they keep falling. So I got all the lipsticks from this range. They have an eyeliner and eyebrow product. I guess and, um, and mascara as well as of now but nothing seemed interesting so I just got the lipsticks for you so yeah today I'm going to review these and doing a lip swatch but before that if you do like this video don't forget to give a big big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel click on the red subscribe button below so yeah let's get started so Maybelline has collaborated with Gigi Hadid and they have come up with six lipsticks in this collection and they are divided into two parts like east coast and west coast while the east coast has most of the neutral shades the west coast has all the bright shades like reds all the reds orange red neutral red just look at the packaging i mean this holographic packaging has my heart i majorly bought it because of the packaging this is the outer packaging and who won't love it so the east coast one is silver and the west coast one is in golden the golden is not like that holographic but the silver one it's life and each of these lipsticks retail for rupees 550 um yeah it's pricey so you might get deals on maybelline after some time like on nike and all they come up with discounts but as of now they don't have any discount and these are available on amazon as well i'll share those links in the description box below if you are interested let's talk about the actual packaging Ten oh my goodness these totally remind me of the kim kardashian makeup collection i mean it was so good it has all this like nudish feel to it and i totally totally loved it this is like a nice break from glass packaging and this has a matte like matte satiny matte touch to it which feels really luxurious and yeah this is such a beautiful packaging i mean let's talk about the color later but just look at the packaging it's so pretty and I really like that the Maybelline has put a shade indicator at the bottom so you can like see what all shades you have when you like store them upside down. Now quickly talking about the formula, they have a creamy smooth texture. I absolutely love Maybelline lipsticks because they have such a smooth creamy texture and these are no exception. They have a similar creamy smooth texture which doesn't feel cakey or heavy on the lips even after multiple swipes. I feel they are quite similar to the creamy matte collection from Color Sensational. They have this satiny matte -ish, not matte, not exactly matte, but like satiny creamy finish to them. And you can see this is Austin and I totally, totally love, 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 love this red shade. And it makes my teeth look super white. Yes. And yes, this color might bleed after food. So you might have to wear a lip liner underneath because it's red and we don't like like smearing red lips. So yeah, and uh, talking about the longevity of these lipsticks, they stay for almost 6 to 7 hours depending on the color, like the darker shades stay longer, just like the regular Maybelline lipsticks. And I tell you that I'm not really impressed with the East Coast collection. Most of the lipsticks doesn't work for me, like the shades are too light or too cool tone for me. The shades are just meh, like they look so dead on me. I was like, what the hell am I doing with these lipsticks? I don't know, I feel like my money is wasted. Even the most raved about shade that is Stora looked pretty dead on me. It slightly warmed up after some time and looked like my lip color. But I wasn't really impressed. I was expecting a richer shade and a warmer color in this. So I'm not really impressed. You can totally skip the Tora. You can actually totally skip the East Coast collection, the Tora, the McCall, the Erin. The Erin has a purple tones. It looks a little bit better, but I'm still not into that color. So if you have to try, I will suggest you to try the West Coast Reds. I know it's the brighter collection, but if you do want to, just go with these. Just skip the East Coast collection. It is not going to work with Indian skin tone. And if you are onto the darker side, I mean, it is going to make you look you don't have blood in your body. So yeah, let's jump into the video. And I said, hey, I'll just let it go. Your struggles won't remain. And I said, hey, you we're holding hope and wake up yesterday. So hold on to me. Hold on to me.
apart to rebuild you one more time so yeah that's all for me today that's what all i wanted to share if you love maybelline lipsticks and you want to have this beautiful packaging in your collection go for any red shade from the west coast collection skip the east coast it's just ridiculous so if you ask me my favorites that is definitely going to be austin which is a beautiful beautiful bright red and the second one is going to be care which is this one this one is more of a muted slightly warm and a little bit more orangey so yeah that's my review on these lipsticks and i really hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful and if you do don't forget to give this video a big big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel click on the red subscribe button below and let me know in comment section below which is your favorite shade and don't forget to share it with your friends who are into lipsticks and love lipsticks like me and yeah this is me signing off see you in my next video till then take care bye